Okay, so in today's math lesson, we started the wonderful world of the order of operations. Now, the order of operations talks about or discusses the order in which we solve problems, especially problems that have multiple operations. So, the first thing you want to do is identify the operations here. So, we want to identify your operations. Okay, so I have division. I have addition, I have subtraction, I have multiplication in here, I have addition over here, I even have some parentheses going on in here. Now, <clears throat> the order is very important, how I solve these problems. Now, I can talk about PEMDAS and things like that, but that's a memorization type of thing. I want to talk about what problems are more involved than other problems, which ones have more power. Now, parentheses are kind of on their own. Parentheses are sort of a, hey, you know what, I'm going to pull you to the side, I'm going to take care of you first kind of thing. So parentheses, it's not that they have more power over one thing or they're more involved, but they're singled out, singled out for a reason so that you have to take care of what's, whatever's inside first. Now, other than that, we have some other main operations. Okay, we have exponents. Okay, we have multiplication and division. We have addition and subtraction. Now, we've been learning all along that multiplication and division are inverse operations, meaning they're opposites of one another. Not one is more powerful than another. Not one is more involved than another because they're essentially mirror images of one another. The same thing with addition and subtraction. Now, addition and subtraction is a very simplistic operation. When compared to multiplication and division, they're really just part of them. Addition is really just repeated multiplication. Subtraction, or excuse me, or division is really repeated subtraction. Okay, yeah, so multiplication is really just repeated addition. And division is really just repeated subtraction. Okay, this guy is more involved, these guys are more involved than these guys. Because they're part of them. Now, exponents, what we learned about yesterday, exponents is just really repeated multiplication. So exponents is more involved than it because it includes multiplication, just the way, the same way multiplication includes addition. So when we solve problems, what we want to tackle are the most involved operations first, the ones that have more power or authority, however it is you want to put it. So with all of that said, we can begin. Now there's one more thing that I want to talk about here. So we want to solve in order of, of power or of involvement, right? Or involved operations, right? Solving for the most involved first. And then if you come, if you have more than one, solve left to right, solve left right now what I mean by that is if two processes are the same process two multiplications two divisions or they are equally as involved multiplication and division if you have the two of them you start with the one on the left first and then you solve the one on the right so I'm just going to rewrite this guy over here we're going to start solving a problem now this is a big guy to start with but I figure you guys can handle it let's see times I'm going to try to make sure I don't mess this up be very careful. Now, order of operations. Now, I see a couple of parentheses in there, so those guys are going to take precedence over anything before I start discussing operations. So, I need to deal with these guys first. So, I'm going to bracket these. Now, the third rule there, or the fourth rule here, is always solve, solve one at a time. Solve one at a time. And that way, you don't get crowded all over yourself. So, my, my two plus my one gives me three. Now what I want to do, since I'm done with all these guys here, I, I solved everything inside that parenthesis, those, so those parentheses can go away. Everything's gone. I need to take everything else and bring it on down. Okay? 4 plus 1, there it is. Now I have a brand new problem. I'm going to treat it as a brand new problem. But I have parentheses again, so those guys just have to be taken care of. So 4 plus 1 gives me 5, so I'm done with all of this. I'm going to copy everything down as I see it, so it's all in the same order. Now, okay, we have three processes left. I have three operations left. 
I have division. I have subtraction. I have multiplication. Now, my division and my multiplication are of equal authority, and they're more involved than my subtraction. My subtraction, and I call them like the, the loser sort of operations there. Multiplication and division are more important than they are because subtraction is just a part of or it's just repeated uh, <clears throat> uh, or just a piece of repeated uh, division, which, excuse me, division, which is repeated subtraction. Okay, so subtraction is on the bottom of my ladder. So left to right, because I have two of these guys, I have multiplication and division, left to right, so I start with this guy. So 39 divided by 3 gives me 13. Done. Bring everything down. Now I'm left with subtraction and multiplication. Now my multiplication has a higher authority than my subtraction. It's more involved. Subtraction is a very simplistic operation. 2 times 5 gives me 10. I'm done with that. Here's my 13 minus 10 gives me 3. And that's the deal. Okay. So let's take a look at the next guy. I'm going to erase the entire board here. Let's take a look at this next guy here. All right, now I have an exponent here, which is kind of cool. Okay, but I'm going to rewrite the whole thing because I need more room. Times, here's a 3 plus a 2 to the second power. Divide by 2 minus 10. Now, inside my parentheses, I need to deal with those guys first. That's fine. So, but inside my parentheses, I have two operations. My exponent is the most involved operation, so I need to deal with that guy first. My 2 to the second power means an expanded form, 2 times 2, which gives me 4. I'm going to put a single line down here. It's going to make that a 4. Now I'm going to bring it all down, whatever's left, right, because I'm done with this guy. But I still have my parentheses. I'm not done with everything inside of that parentheses yet. So I have 3 plus 4. I'm going to bracket those. That gives me 7. Now I'm done with everything inside those parentheses so the parentheses can dissolve. Subtract 2, subtract 10. I have a times 12. Now I have subtraction and multiplication. Multiplication is a far more involved process. So let's make sure we have this right. My 12 times 7. So that's a 14. That's a 7. That's an 84. So I'm going to bracket those nice and neat. Here's my 84. Bring down the next guys. Now I have two of the same operations. And when that happens, the same authority, I'm going to go left to right. So here's the one on the left. So 84 minus 2 gives me 82. Done with those guys. Here's my subtract 10. I love doing these things. It's a very methodical process. It's like solving a big old puzzle. So 82 minus 10 gives me 72. And that's all she wrote. Okay, folks? Well, that's the deal. Remember. Remember your hierarchy of power, authority for, uh, for different operations. Follow those. And when you, have a, when you have a situation where you have the same authority, Solve left to right. And if you have a parenthesis, deal with those guys first. Okay? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.